Hello everyone! Today we are talking about the hottest design trends with staying power. Trends come and go, but great design can sneak into our lives and offer us so much more than just beauty and aesthetics. The trends that we'll be discussing today have the capacity to become timeless features of your home, whether or not your style is classic, contemporary, or a mixed bag of all the best in design. Watch this video to see if any of these design trends tickle your fancy and be inspired by all of the clever applications out there. Before we dive right into today's video, let's talk about design trends and why do we even care? For me, as a professional interior designer, I don't subscribe to a whole lot of design trends. Design trends are meant to inspire everyone out there, whether or not you are someone who is renting, maybe you're a student who's in the dorm, or if this is your first home and you can't wait to fancy it up, I love that design trends offer us a glimpse into what's happening out in the market today. Interior design, unlike fashion, doesn't rely on what's happening on the runway. You can imagine that once you go to interior design markets and expeditions, what you're seeing there in the market is going to trickle down to the consumers way later than fast fashion can. So by the time potential clients actually seek out professional designers, everything that they're looking at in the design magazines or out there in the home stores have actually been in the industry for quite some time. So whether or not you agree, design trends do affect everyone out there. Of all of the hot design trends lists out there for 2024, these are the ones that I am most excited about. I feel like there is such a timeless appeal to all of these trends, starting with my favorite from today's list, quiet luxury. Quiet luxury can be defined as anything that has a calming effect, a soothing effect. Nothing too loud, too opulent, too in your face or ostentatious. You're looking to create an environment of sophistication and elegance in your home and space. Contrary to what you might think, luxury doesn't have to mean expensive. The one thing that all of these rooms have in common is that there is a feeling of restraint and softness surrounding the entire room. With quiet luxurious spaces, there's an emphasis on a classic tailored pieces. Think about investment pieces that you can build the entire room around. You want to use a mix of organic materials to achieve this luxurious aesthetic. Think travertine and oak, black and steel, natural stone. It's less about the materials that you specify and more about how they vibe off one another. Notice how there's no huge crystal chandeliers, no statement making artwork. Everything in the room is calm, it's understated, it's quiet, it's inviting. And best of all, it screams luxury. There are a few designers out there in the industry right now. They are all celebrity designers, and I'm loving the type of quiet, luxurious spaces that they're creating. Jessica Helgerson is a Portland-based interior designer, and I love the way that she crafts these really curated spaces. Her spaces always feel very rich, really calming. There's a lot of architectural interest and features like crown molding, panel molding. She uses a really beautiful mix of warm woods and luxurious materials materials like velvets and Sherpa. The one thing that all of her rooms have in common is that it just feels calm. It feels really quiet. It's layered, it's curated, but it doesn't feel overly designed. I love how a peek into her portfolio feels like you're staying at your rich auntie's country estate. I used to live in Portland myself, so this is giving me all of those Pacific Northwest moody vibes and I love it. This living room designed by Jake Arnold really exudes that quiet confidence that we all crave in our spaces. I love how even with the height of this lofty ceiling, Ceiling, the space still feels very warm, intimate, cozy, and inviting. Notice how all of the furniture is roughly the same height. If you want to achieve visual continuity in a space, you want to measure the height of all of your furniture and have them all within the same range. In this case, you can see that the sofas in the space are all about the same height. He's also added pairs of accent chairs in the space, but nothing is really screaming out at you. There's a balance of materials here. Everything really vibes off of one another and feels very harmonious. You can still have bold colors in this quiet luxury type of space, but it's how you use these colors and what you mix them with that's going to make them feel really statement making or just really subdued and simplified. Disc Interiors is an LA based interior design firm and I love how they interpret quiet luxury as well. Quiet luxury is not defined by a certain style, era, or period. Let's look at the differences between both of these rooms all designed by the same studio by Disc Interiors. The first image shows a living room with a lot of contrasting materials in it. 
For me, my eye draws straight to the flush mount fixture that's on the ceiling since it's like this big black bob that's in this very calming room. And then all the way in the back to this graphic artwork that's on the walls. All of the black in the space is contrasting off of all of the light colors in the space. So of course to me, this doesn't feel quiet. It doesn't feel luxurious, even though I know that they spent a whole lot of money in this room. Now on the flip side, this is the same studio, disc interiors, the same designers, but look at this space. You see how there's not a whole lot of contrast? There's not statement artwork on the walls. All of the art that's in the space really ties in and marries all of the colors. Even though you have this rich cognac color lounge chair that's in the corner of the room, it feels really subtle and it feels really subdued. I love a quiet and luxurious space. In my lounge, it's loud, it's bold. There's a lot of contrasting prints, patterns, colors, and materials. But once you go to my bedroom and my studio, I just want quiet, I want calm, I want to relax. I want to think. To me, that's the best thing about this design trend. Quiet luxury inspires creative thinking and I'm totally here for it. So the next time you're out shopping and you're looking for some of those quiet, luxurious elements to invite into your space, remember that money talks, wealth whispers. Next on the list of the hottest design trends for 2024 with staying power is landscape murals. I love landscape murals as much as I love tapestry. Imagine being enveloped in a room where every single wall has this really beautiful landscape mural on it. Think forest scenes, think lots of moody greens. It's almost like walking into your room and being completely transported to the outdoors. Except that you're not outdoors, you're in your bedroom or you're in your dining room or even your living room. And it feels like you're just surrounded surrounded by nature. My favorite landscape murals are the ones that are really soft and gauzy. A lot of the colors are really diffused and muted. It's not too in your face and it feels like you're just transported to another time and place. Think about the feeling that you're trying to capture in your room from your landscape mural. You can specify a mural that's a wash in all sepia tones devoid of any color or you could try a palette of muted greens and grays set in a classic colonial home. I love how a landscape mural makes such a statement in a really small powder room. Pair with really rich dark woods, a gilded gold mirror, and shaded wall sconces for classic sophistication. Think of how a landscape mural would look traveling up a really beautiful staircase. Imagine walking into your home and being met with this pastoral scene right in your entry foyer. What a fabulous way to greet all of your guests. Remember that landscape murals don't need to be super huge and fill up every single wall in your home. They can have just as much impact in a space, especially if they're only dedicated on a future wall. But you always want to be careful. Don't slap on this mural as an afterthought just because you want to provide some visual interest in a space. Design is all about marrying all the different components and how they come together to create a really beautifully curated space. Moving on to the next hottest design trend of 2024 that I feel is super timeless is those tiny micro wallpaper prints. Wallpaper is nothing new. It's not coming back to me. I don't think it ever even left design. Wallpaper is something that I specify in every single home project that I've designed. Yes, even for some of my modern contemporary clients. Wallpaper has such a visual impact in a home, much like murals. But the difference between the murals versus the tiny wallpaper prints is that we're talking about these tiny little graphics that is repeated as an element on wallpaper paper. Whereas murals are really large scale, they could be painted, they could be printed. Wallpaper is only applied on the wall in a form of a peel and stick wallpaper or something that you can paste on the wall or paste directly to the paper itself and apply on the wall. Even though wallpaper is not permanent, you can change it anytime, it is an investment that you are going to make into your home. You don't have to hire a professional wallpaper installer to install it, but if you want professional looking results, it's best to leave it to the pros. These tiny prints are popping up everywhere in design and I love it. I especially love how you can pull the colors from the wallpaper itself to apply onto the crown molding or even the casing in your home. Use the wallpaper prints natural palette of colors to create a completely cohesive design just like in this beautiful pink space. I love how you can't really date this space. I can't tell who this space is designed for. It could look equally as chic as a grown-up's bedroom or even my toddler's. Specifying the perfect wallpaper print is not as difficult as it may seem. Think about having a visceral reaction to any of the graphics or the colors that you see in wallpaper. It could be a tiny geometric pattern that gets repeated and it looks like your favorite insect. It could be colorful floral wallpaper that reminds you of your pajamas that you wore as a child. Think about specifying a wallpaper print that has some sort of sentimental attachment to it. It could remind you of a really fond memory that you have or a color that you love or even a fabric print that you could line on the walls and reuse for your upholstery and your bed sheets. 
On a sample, that tiny wallpaper print could look super busy, but on a large scale application, it almost recedes into the background and it creates this really beautiful, cohesive color combination that you can then use to inspire the design of the entire room. How's that for a spark of inspiration? Next on my list of the hottest design trends with staying power in 2024, is silver and chrome accents. Silver and chrome have a really bad rap in the industry because they're considered really cold materials. And the color itself can lean towards cold, of course, depending on what you pair it with. You don't wanna pair silver and chrome with a lot of cool tones. No grays, no blues, no greens, unless that is the design intent that you are going for. I love to mix silver and chrome with really rich accents like dark woods, heavy velvet, heavy upholstery. Think about creating some contrast between the elements that you're pairing silvers with to create a really, really dynamic space. I love how the reflective qualities of chrome feel like an art installation. Look at this sculptural chrome chair in this living room. There's nothing else that's reflective in this space except the glass coffee table, so of course this accent chair really stands out. It's almost become another sculptural art piece in this space where you can tell that the homeowners really love this type of aesthetic. Think about pairing a silver and chrome with more natural materials like leathers, nubby wools. I love how silver accents can instantly modernize a bohemian type of space. If you have a minimal home with a lot of white walls and really strategic artwork in the space, think about adding some sort of reflective finish like a chrome pendant light. Not only does a feature like this become art in itself, but it bounces off so much more reflective light, especially when it's coming off all of the artwork that's on the walls. Remember that silver and chrome aren't meant for just modern futuristic spaces. Look at this classically designed bedroom with the plaid walls and this distressed console. Talk about maximalism. You've got this traditional table lamp and a chrome task lamp right next to one another. While this might seem like a questionable decision, I love design moves like this. It stops me dead in my tracks and it makes me think, why did they specify this material? What are they trying to achieve in this room? Upon closer inspection, you'll see that the silver is actually repeated in the elements of design. You'll see the silver nail heads right on the trim of the headboard. This repetition of materials feels very intentional, which is what I love about this design space. Adding silver elements to warm neutral spaces is also another way to jazz it up. We're still loving all of the warm neutral spaces post pandemic. We want that cozy cozy, intimate vibe, but now we want to add something in there that throws it off a little bit. If you currently have all brass accents in your home, I love how brass vibes off of chrome and silver. My favorite combinations of kitchen cabinet hardware and bathroom fixtures is brass and polished nickel, matte black and chrome, and even brushed nickel with oil rub bronze. Just because you have existing metal finishes in your space, it doesn't mean that you can't add and layer on a little bit more. I have a really great video on the channel now. It's called How to Mix Metals Like a Pro. I'll link that video in the description box below and you definitely wanna check that out if you're looking to incorporate more silver and chrome into your home this year. Who would have thought that jewel tones would make a comeback so quickly, but it's here. I'm happy, I'm loving it. The next on the list of hottest design trends with staying power is jewel tones. We're talking super rich, saturated shades of magenta, turquoise, emerald, golden mustard, rich royal purple. Yes, even amber made it onto my hot list this year. We're not just talking about jewel tone furniture. You'll see jewel tones making a huge splash for kitchen cabinets. And yes, even water wall color from the ground up. I love how there's nothing shy about these rooms. They're layering on a whole ton of color, a lot of organic materials. You'll see rich woods, black metal accents, which has the capacity to tie in all of the various elements. The difference between jewel tone applications today and the ones we've seen before is that now jewel tones are a washed in color and they bathe the entire room in light. We don't have a single jewel tone piece in the space that becomes its statement making piece. Look at this cobalt sofa that's backed up against this buttery yellow walls. Now these aren't two colors that I would imagine putting in a space together, but to me it just feels so artsy. There's something really fun, wild, and free about this room and I love that in design. If you don't want the jewel tone piece of furniture to really stand out in the space, think about all of the other elements that you can add into the space so that it feels more of like a cohesive design statement instead of just something that you're throwing in there. You have a rich royal purple velvet upholstered bed, why don't you try cornflower blue on the walls? Who says chartreuse line shades can't fit the bill? Can you imagine if 
this craftsman style room had all white walls, I feel like it would be devoid of so much personality and color. Now all of a sudden when the wall color matches the trim and matches the ceiling, you have a completely cohesive design room. If you want to incorporate more jewel tones in your home this year, but you don't want to make a huge investment, think about reupholstering a piece that you already own. I've had a lot of luck looking for a discount or even vintage fabric pieces, even little remnants that you could use to reupholster like a small bench or a small little ottoman. Try to stay away from some of the jewel tone upholstered pieces that you would find at your big box store because they don't use a lot of high quality materials. You'll have better luck running out to your favorite fabric discount store or you can even look for a designer fabric remnants on Etsy or eBay. Moving on to the next item on today's list is Sunset Hues. Sunset Hues is making a really huge splash in interior design and decoration because we're kind of moving away from all of the warm neutrals. Although I still I still love warm neutrals. I still want to be enveloped in that great big cozy hug. I like a relaxed feel. I like a calming feel. You can still achieve that with a whole lot more color. When I think of sunset hues, I think of golden hour. Everything gets bathed in this really warm, buttery yellow light. Think about layering on rich yellows, golds, oranges, red tones, all the way to brown. Warm neutrals were characterized by light and medium toned woods and the color palette that fell in between all of the ivories and and tans. Now Sunset Hues kind of kicked that up a notch and we're layering on a richer color. Remember that the Sunset color palette isn't just about bringing in yellows and oranges into a room and then calling it a day. If you really dissect all of the different color variations that are in the Sunset, you will see some grays in there. You'll see some blues. In the spectrum of the Sunset, you'll see the violets bleeding into the pink. So there's a whole lot more color than you think when it comes to Sunset. So you also want to make sure that you bring in some of those dark inky blues for that extra wow factor. You know how in 2023, the fall vibe was like really huge. We all loved that moody vibe, kind of that season that was in between autumn and winter. Bringing that type of vibe into your home felt like you're being comforted year round. Now on the flip side, sunset hues are all about bringing that warmth of summer into your home. Rooms designed in sunset hues almost feels like you're taking a step back into the renaissance. If you think about the psychology of color and the aspects that are associated with warm sunset hues, you'll know that yellow reminds us of bright summer days, Orange is really energetic and happy. Red is a really passionate color and it encourages movement and activity. Combined with the richness of woods and brown tones, now you've just created a really grounding space for you to feel completely inspired in. And lastly, on today's list of hottest design trends with staying power in 2024 is eclectic personalization. This is easily my favorite design trend and one that I don't consider a trend at all. It's all about personalizing your home to reflect your style, your hobbies, your interests, and really how you aspire to live. Eclectic personalization is all about a creation of old and new with decor tailored to personally reflect its owner. No need to have a large space or an architecturally interesting one. The eclectic aesthetic is all about layers and layers of your favorite home finds. We're talking about really interesting artwork on the walls, creative color combinations that prioritize pattern and print. How about a bedroom that mixes in all of your favorite organic materials in a palette of rich burgundies and greens? Eclectic personalization isn't about a really grand space with a mix of vintage and modern finds. It could simply be a very quiet corner of your home with just a writing desk and a small little ottoman that's decorated with all of your favorite little curiosities. Think about layering in some really sculptural floral arrangements on top of your existing coffee table. If you want to play with more color and pattern, coffee table books and small little floral arrangements are the easiest ways to restyle a space without spending a whole lot of money. You can also think about refinishing something you already own. Maybe you have a hand-me-down mirror with a wood frame that you just don't love. You could easily paint over it with some chalk paint or you could even spray paint all of the frames white for a uniform gallery on the walls. However it is that you choose to personalize your space, you want to make sure that it's unique and tells your story in a way where I can't confuse it with anyone else. I think that's a beauty with eclectic personalization. It doesn't feel like an Instagram copy and paste space. It doesn't feel like something that I've already seen before on Pinterest. Of course, we are all inspired by the thousands of images that we see online daily, but it's all about how do you make it yours? Ignoring your own taste for what you think should be your taste is a recipe for disaster. So even though I'm showing you all of these design trends that could go out as fast as they came in, to me, a lot of these have staying power. These could be small little design elements that you test out in your home with timeless appeal. When design is personalized to your style and aesthetic, it's timeless. 
Interior design is all about telling your story, who you are, where you've been, and where you hope to go. My home is a reflection of all of the things that I loved at different phases in my life. There are some design trends and specific elements that I've fallen in love with, and time and time again, even though there are some things that get phased out, there are a handful of items that I am still absolutely obsessed with in my home. Make 2024 the year that you banish all sterile environments, those copy and paste aesthetics, and create a space that really reflects you and what you truly love. That's it for today's video. I hope you got some really good ideas on what's hot out there in the world of design. You'll see a lot of videos, a lot of creators making these hot lists out there, what's in, what's out. You know what's out? These lists. I've actually been guilty of making them in the past, which is why I made this video today. I want to do away with lists that call what's in, what's out, what's trending, what's not. What I want to do is to encourage you to take another look at the design trends that make their way into the market and into our design vernacular. Whether you like it or not, we're going to see these trends and and soon enough, we're gonna see them everywhere. If you like this type of content and you wanna see more design trends on this channel, please give this video a thumbs up. Comment below and let me know what is your favorite design trend from today's list. How would you be incorporating that trend into your own home? Share this video with anyone you know who loves interior design as much as we do and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching everyone. I'll see you next week.